Hey everyone, it's Sue here and today I'm going to work on this black tag and these are the products that I pulled and I started by spraying the white dilutions onto the tag using that stencil and I pulled out some Tim Holtz tickets that I recently purchased and at um, a local scrapbook store as well as this paper right here. So, you know, when I go there I try finding something that I don't, I, you know, I'm not going to see it. Michael's, that kind of thing. And so I just walked around the store and I found this. So it's cardstock, but it's Crinkles cardstock made by Wausau Paper. And it is very, very, very textured and it's thick. It's, it's very thick. It's, I love it. And I happen to absolutely love this color, and I love it with black. So, you know, this is the color scheme I'm going for here. And this bag. I just got this bag in a swap with someone. Oh my gosh, who was it? I forget. But anyway, so I'm going to pull this bag in as well and do something with that. And of course, I have my Mod Podge. You can't do a project without without that. So that's kind of where I'm at. So um, I think I'll get started. Okay, so I'm ready to start and I thought it was very, very, very interesting. Um, I took a minute and I tore part of the bag that I showed you and I have the pieces here and then I'm like looking at it I'm like, oh my gosh, it says Washington, New Jersey. That's not far from where I live. I live in New Jersey. How bizarre is that? Very strange, right? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to get started. Now, we know that dilutions, um, you know, it will react with water. Uh, I do want this piece of this paper right here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the Mod Podge on the back of this so I'm not futzing with the the white dilutions. Now not that I don't do that um, I do but you have to be like really 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 quick right you don't want to spend too much time you know moving a medium over the dilutions because it will end up all over the place so we'll see We'll see how it goes and if I can actually keep from from doing that. So I'm just going to work over here on the side. And I think I'm going to put that piece up there. All right. So that is on there. Let me just push it down. And then let's see. I don't want to cover up the tag. So I want to be very careful because I really, really like the tag a lot. So I want to make sure I don't cover it up too much. And you guys know me. Oh, I cover up everything. <laughs> so um, we'll see. We'll see if I can actually do this without covering up the whole tag. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now here I can go ahead and put this down because I do have... I'm working on this this like maroon color paper right here so it's not gonna you know spread the um, dilutions. I don't know if I want to keep going with more of this or call it quits with this for now. You know what? I'm gonna call it quits with that for now because I want to first think about my placement of the tags. They're really cute. They have really um, cute sayings. In fact, I don't even know which one to use. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to use the live. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, do I want one, two, three, or four of them? I don't know. I do not know. So, you know what? I'm going to take all four off and let's kind of Fool around with the tag and see what we want to do. Um, I know, and all of you are probably there saying, ooh, 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 do that, do that. 
That's what I do. <laughs> do you guys do that? Where you're watching somebody and it's like, yeah, 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 do that. Or, oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I do that all the time. And then, of course, it always comes out looking beautiful. But, you know, you don't always know what the person has in mind that's actually doing the video. And they can have it well planned out. But, of course, you don't know what their plan is. I just want to make sure it's straight. I know me, wanting something straight. I'm not normally this picky. But, in this case, I am going to be. I think I'm just going to put one on the bottom down here. Like right there. And this little guy can go right here. Alrighty, so I'm just going to move this paper to the side for the moment. And this is where we are at so far. So I'm going to pull in actually some glass glitter by Prima, which is just beautiful. I don't want to put too, too, too much. I just want a little bit of glitter. This stuff is really, really, really cool. Um, I like it because it's, I don't know, I, I guess the, the flakes themselves, they're just bigger than like regular glitter, so they're great um, to really see, you know, um, see the glitter on the project. All right, so now I think I'm going to go with this part of the stencil. Um, now I could have put color, you know, some type of a pigment in this as well, but I'm going to go with just this. So you can hear it. Can you hear it? That's the glitter. Oh, <laughs> Look at that yumminess. Do you guys see that yumminess? There's some sparkle in it, which I think will get shinier as it dries, but just look at that, that awesome texture. So let's see, where are we gonna go from here? Now, the reason like, I'm being strategic about where to place this because what I want to try to do is get some on the ticket, on the paper, and on the bag paper, as well as the tag. So I really am placing it strategically, because what this is going to do is, um, I keep using the word like unify it, it's going to um, bring all of those elements together on the tag and not have them look so separate. All right, here goes. Woo woo. Loving it. Loving it. All right, I think I'm going to switch and oh, maybe do some of these like little splatter type things here. So I'm just going to pull in just a little bit. Just a little bit. Andrea, you're going to be so proud of me. I'm going to like use all of this up in one shot. You are going to be so proud. Okay. Whoop. All right. And I think I'll do a little bit over here. And this time I'm going a little bit off of the tag so it's not so... Um, planned. You know that random look that we go for that's not random at all? Well, this would be it. <laughs> this would be it, everybody. All right. All right. Oh, I like that. Just want to get that off of there. So let's see. That's what we have so far. All right. 
Now I did add a little bit more of the stencil there and there with the modeling paste. And I really, really like the way this is looking. Now I know I want to add some circles. And I have my gesso. I keep it in these little plastic containers. And I'm just going to pull the gesso right off of the top of the lid. And I was originally going to use like a bigger circle, like one of these. But I think that these would be too big. So I'm going to go with this smaller circle. Now I don't want to get too too much on there so I think I'm just going to dab on and kind of dab off a little bit on the on the side over there. So I just want to get a little bit. I don't want too much of anything on here which again is very rare for me right? I, I tend to uh, to like to have a lot a lot going on, but not this time. And I'm trying to actually be very strategic with where I place these. And I'm going to put, I'm not sure what yet though, um, but I'm going to put something probably in the middle there. So I can certainly go ahead and put, you know, a circle or two, but I'm probably going to be covering that up. So I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to leave it just like that. I pulled out some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold, gave it a good shake, because this tag is screaming for some gold. It just is, trust me. <laughs> All right, I think that is going to be good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and dry that. Oh my goodness, I love this tag. You know what, I think it's like almost done. Now, I think I just need, what am I going to put there? What am I going to put there? I have no idea. I'll have to figure that out. Okay, let me go dry this up. I have decided what I'm going to put in the middle. This is all nice and dry. And I pulled out the metal embellishments that I purchased from Michael. So, you know I love birds. I have a parrot. And I thought of putting this here. But you can see through it and that's just not going to cut it. Then I thought, well, let me put the rose there. Which really I love. But you know what? I just did a different page with a flower on it so I'm like no. What I decided was I'm going to go with the key. So I'm going to place the key here and this is a paper clip and I'm going to place the paper clip up top here. The reason I decided on this, I mean I've got adhesive I've got all kinds of adhesive and I'm like oh okay I need something strong enough and I need something that's not going to be shiny if it should come out from behind the key. So that's why I went with this. I thought that this was probably the best choice and this is a new bottle. I'm so excited. I finally made it through my first bottle. I had it for years. Now let me see. I'm going to lift this up carefully. I'm done. This is it. So I hope that you like this. If you did and you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you um, be part of my channel. And definitely, you guys, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and I will get back to you. Okay, thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.